This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. This guy says, uh, I went out on two dates with a girl, only texted to set up dates, and the dates were once a week. The second date was on a Wednesday, and we went out, and she was all over me, making out and everything, and she opened up to me about herself, but it was too late at night to do anything as we had work the next day, so I sent her on her way, and he said I should have pulled the trigger earlier in the night. I'll say this, guy, you're not, it's not the worst thing in the world if you turn away a guaranteed hookup, but if you were game and she was game, you should have gone and played the game. I think sometimes what happens is uh, as men, we learn these lessons of, okay, don't rush in and don't make it all about hooking up. And in the process of that, we think, okay, I'm going to be the good guy that doesn't do that. But then when the opportunity presents itself and the woman's basically saying, I'm actually down to do that, we think in our heads, no, 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 no. I don't want to, I'm, if I do that, I'm going to come across this certain kind of guy. She's going to judge me. And then it's going to, and so we end up shooting ourselves in the foot. And what I want to stress to you is this, is that it is not your job to try to control how she responds to whatever it is you guys do. If you guys, if you think if we hook up, then she's going to be thinking, I just used her for sex. You know what? It's not your responsibility to judge her or try to control how she thinks about what happened after you guys do it. Like, because here's the thing, you can't really do that. Like the only, like for example, let's say you're trying to con convince her that this is not just about sex. Well, you can't do that by saying, I swear if we hook up, it's not gonna just be about sex. All you can do is this, you guys hook up, you have a good time, and then a few days you call her again for another date. That's how she'll know that this is not just about a hookup. But in the moment, you're not gonna be able to do anything about how she's going to think about this in the after part of this, all right? And that's not your job, all right? So if she's presenting this thing as if to say, hey, if she's giving you signs to indicate that she's also down for the hookup, stop being in your head about, but I don't want her to feel, stop. Assuming you're a good guy and you you legitimately have attraction to her and you also want to show her a good time in the bedroom and you're not going to be a selfish lover, then go ahead and do the thing and then just know you're going to hit her up in a few days. Like, you, it's not your job to see to it that she's completely secure in the fact that you're not in this for just the hookup. It's just not. Anyway, so he says, she always texts me after the date. On that second date, she was really wanting to see me Friday night. So I agree. Oh, all right. So what I tell you guys early on is this, is that for those first few dates, Fridays and Saturdays should be a no-no because those are typically days that are reserved for couples. And so even if she's in uh, well-meaning in trying to present a Friday or Saturday, she might not be aware in her own subconscious that this is going to now make her feel as if you guys are already in a relationship. And if it hasn't been like two or three months and she hasn't solidified her feelings yet, then she's going to suddenly go into like, oh my God, it's too soon. This is why it's your job as a guy to know the knowledge of maybe for those first few dates, don't accept Friday or Saturdays. Like if she, if she says, hey, let's go out this Saturday, you have to know that if it's like date two or three, probably not the best day. And you want to say something like, oh, you know, I'd love to, but I'm actually, I'm actually busy on this Friday or Saturday with some other things, but hey, I'm free Sunday. Like for those first couple of weeks, weeks stick to Sunday through Thursday, because those aren't days that indicate that you're in a relationship with somebody. You got to think about the fact that on a Friday or Saturday, there's no work day the next day, which means that you are willingly giving up your time in order to spend more time with them on these days. But if they're not the boyfriend or girlfriend, again, they're gonna be looking at like, how is it that this guy was able to so easily sacrifice these days? Is it because he's feeling super serious about me? Oh my God, but am I there yet? And sometimes women don't do the best things for their own self-interest when it comes to dating. That's why, again, you as a guy need to be aware of these things so you know to not let her trip your guys' uh, dating journey up by trying to suggest to do things or go out on certain days that are too soon in the dating process. So they agreed for Friday. He says, when she sent her, when she sent her after date text late at night, I stupidly, his, his words, not mine. I stupidly replied that night with trying to set the details. She never replied. And then Friday afternoon, she said she had to cancel because she was not feeling well. Ooh, this is not good. I said, no problem. Reach out to me when you're feeling better. And she said, Okay, I will do that. So, gentlemen, one, 
I never recommend that you guys ever say to a woman, well, hey, unless it's like she's like rejected you twice, then you'll say something like, you know, hey, well, that's great. Well, you know what? Um, when your schedule frees up, reach out to me. That's only if she's rejected your date twice. But if she says, for example, this one, she said um, she had to cancel because she was not feeling well. I would have just said, hey, no problem. I'll hit you up later. That way I'm saying to her, I'm going to still take the responsibility of hitting you up to ask for a date. So even though, and by the way, I don't agree with her canceling date. Canceling dates early on are already bad. I only allow two cancellations before I'm just like, I'm the heck out of here because this is too much. But like, yeah, it's not a good sign that she's canceling this early on after a couple of dates, right? Anyway, he says now, stupidly, I couldn't resist. Yes, you could have. You chose not to. I couldn't resist and hit her up Tuesday the next week trying to set a date for later in the week. She said she had finals next week, but she would be free next weekend, not this weekend. I, stupidly, <laughs> by the way, if you know that you're making stupid moves after you make them, you probably knew it was going to be a stupid move before you made it. Why not just not make the move? Like, you could save yourself a whole lot of stupid leads if you would just say, huh, wait a minute, you know what? Harry's talked about this. He's talked about reaching out after saying that, you know, you wait for her to reach out. So maybe this is not the move to make. But I get it. Guys, we get apprehensive. We feel as though this woman is different from all the other women. She's different from the norm. And it's going to be totally fine with this woman if I make this move that for other women will be the wrong move. But this one, this one seems pretty sane. So I could do this move. I'm telling you, this is why in the beginning you treat all women the exact same. Because that woman you think is different from all the others, I can guarantee you, you make the wrong move and she's going to react just like all the other women would have. All right. And you don't know for sure until you've spent two to three months with her that if she's like that unicorn or if she's acting like all the women in references to how she's responding to things, all right? So don't assume that you have a different um, out-of-the-box woman on your hands because most likely you do not. Continuing, uh, let's see, he says, Senate finals. Then he said, I stupidly sent a voice note with a flirty tone trying to plan something later in the week. So this guy, he's already said he tried to plan something. She said, she had finals. And then his response was to hit her up again and say, but we should do something this week. Now you're not listening. Now you're looking desperate. Now you're looking needy. And now you're going to become the kind of guy that she's going to be thinking, God, this guy is just so obsessed with me already. It's been one or two dates. Like, this is freaky. I'm out. All right. So this is why, A, you don't double text. And you should definitely not be sending voice messages. This is also why I have a book at my website called Texting Like a Boss, 21 Texting Commandments, because you are breaking them by double texting and triple texting and trying to send all these texts to get her on a date when she's already said, hey, not this week, next weekend. She, to be fair, said, hey, I'll be free next weekend. The fact that she said that and you're still trying to set a date for this week, dude, women, if they like you, they will like you longer than if it takes them a week or two to see you again, all right? So this is just now showing insecurity on your part, which could start to turn her off. Anyway, he says, she said, mm, I'll have to put some thought into that. I never replied, but I am just going to sit back now because I know I'm coming off as needy. Yes, you are. Should I hit her up next week or wait two weeks or just move on and set something up if she reaches out? You've hit her up enough. She knows you want to see her. You know she has finals coming up. She said she would contact you after finals or that she had time to whatever next weekend. So she said she had finals next week, but she would be free next weekend. So here's what I'm going to say. I would say this. A, don't plan weekend dates, all right? Uh, and, and if you're going to do that, plan it for a Sunday. So do this. Wait until Thursday, all right? Give her some time and then say, hey, the, the Thursday of the, like, of the finals, right? And all, even with that, she might still be trying to be in finals mode to where she sees your text and be like, oh, this guy again. So I'd say, you know what, be, to be real, I'd wait until after finals. Wait until after finals, hit her up like, hey, how finals go? Great. So you know what? Uh, restaurant open, place just open, this fun place I found, blah, 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 blah. Want to see what your uh, Thursday or Sunday is looking like? Let me know. And that's it. All right. But you should not be. You already set up, left it up to her to text you back. So you constantly texting is always going to come across as needy now, guys. So I would say try to curtail doing all this texting to her. It's not necessary. And also, you need to give her space to come to you. And you're not doing that, which we're going to talk about in the next segment. OK, but hopefully, guys, for now, this helps you out. <laughs>